We're at the Murfreesboro Farmer's Market today and it's like the hopping place to be in Murfreesboro right now. Let's take a look around. It's pretty fun, pretty awesome. Got some good food. All right, so we have fresh local cherries, fresh local peaches, and look at those things. They look so juicy and tender and ripe. I got some of the best local honey that Murfreesboro offers. This stuff is amazing. Fresh local tomatoes, oh my God, and finally, we got some little tiny plums that are delightful. I may have already eaten a few of them. All right, so check it out, y'all. We got this giant 2.265 pound tomahawk ribeye that is gonna be dinner tomorrow after it thaws out. Gonna put that puppy on the Traeger. You guys will have to stay tuned tomorrow to check this thing out on the smoker. It's gonna be awesome. Bad name of Jamma. The ribeye. Now that is a delicious looking at ribeye. 45 day dry age from Farrar Farms in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. That is what I call a major tomahawk ribeye. It's gonna go on this Traeger here in a couple minutes and be heaven on a plate. I'm excited for it. Out of the way. I know I've said it before on my uh, Instagram channel, but this is Instagram TV, so you guys don't know yet. I might have some new followers and stuff from here. I just want to say, I am in no way, shape, or form affiliated with Traeger Grill. I just really like my Traeger Grill a lot. I cook on it, I don't know, a few times a week, so I like it. I also like my Weber Kettle Grill. Love them. No way, shape, or form affiliated with those guys at all. It's just a good grill, and I like to use it tonight. I grill a lot of food, so awesome guys. My hair look okay. Alright, that's what we're supposed to be doing. It starts smoke. So that's a good sign. We're gonna get to put this ribeye on in just a minute. And I'm just so friggin' excited because it's gonna be delicious. Alright everyone, look at this bad name of Jamma. The ribeye. Now that is a delicious looking at ribeye. 45 day dry age from Farrar Farms in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. That is what I call a major tomahawk ribeye. It's going to go on this Traeger here in a couple minutes and be heaven on a plate. I'm excited for it. Holy cow. 
that look just absolutely divine. It's a nice smoky color and it, it's perfect. Alright, now for the hard part, we're gonna up the tip to 250. Alright, that wasn't hard, that was actually easy. So now we just kind of wait for a little while, wait for the tip to come up. I don't know, probably around 100 degrees. And then we're gonna go ahead and sear it after that. Off for a few minutes. We're gonna let it, the grill come up to temperature. Just so. Alright, we're getting it at 416 degrees, and I think it's time to pull. Let's check. 121 degrees. That'll do, pig. Not pig, they're eating pork. They're eating beef. Alright. Well, the unveiling. I'm gonna open her up. Yeah, people say Traegers don't cook good steaks. They're lying to you because this is phenomenal. Whoa boy, look at that amazing ribeye. I mean, does life get any better than a ribeye that looks like that? It is perfectly browned on the outside. And it's got a nice pink juicy center. My mouth's watering. All right, y'all, that is it. It is seared to perfection on the outside. Nice pink and juicy on the inside. Look at all that juice on the plate. That's a good steak. That Traeger can put, cook an amazing steak. Look at that guy right there. Two and a half pound tomahawk ribeye cooked to perfection.